Uh, what's going on guys? We are back. Some more uh, NBA 2K14. Just earlier, the fans on their feet as the national anthem rang out throughout the arena. Welcome everyone to a brand new season of NBA basketball. What an exciting game, opening night in the NBA. Let's check out the starting lineups. First, for the Nuggets, Watson and Fournier man the back. And in the middle, the long body JaVale McGee. Absolutely elastic. Who, who do you think I am not soccer on my team? Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. So it's the Kings taking. State Capitol building aglow in the night air of Sacramento, California. Coming to you yeah, live first game to the sports, this care. is the NBA. Hi everyone, Kevin Harlan alongside my broadcast partner Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. It's great to have you with us. We've got a chance now for our starting lineup. And the first half ends in a close one. I'm not working yet. Yeah, stuff in the bottom of the year. Oh, yeah, what's that? I am not carrying John Simons. Man, I just hope you're a good tipper, man. Captain speaking. We begin our descent. 
descent into the Bay Area. Please prepare for landing and welcome to Oakland. How's Jackson Owls doing? Oops. Put the clamps on him, y'all. Igadala getting nada. <laughs> Let's shut him down. Already, we're seeing a ton of intensity from this team. And we haven't even started yet. Welcome everyone. This is the NBA. Marcus Cousins, future Golden State Warrior. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Steph, Clay, and Dre on the perimeter. Harrison Barnes is out there with Jermaine O'Neal. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. And I think you got to foul them, and free throws are better than a layup. You know, with Steph Curry, it's never been a question about his talent, guys. It's always been a question about how are his ankles going to do. Well, really, he only missed significant time in the shortened season. And for the most part, he's been healthy and highly productive. And the Kings making a change here. Andrews checked in. Oh, what am I watching? Outside curve. Misses the three. You know. And a few ankle tweaks for Curry last season, but with the big brace he wore, he said the pain was mostly from the brace bruising his ankle than anything else. So Boogie! And Jim. Maybe a smaller brace. So he doesn't get yeah. the bruising. That would be smart. Exactly. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. He's out of here. Where their depth becomes such an asset, Kevin. He's gone for the remainder of the game, but fortunately, they're able to field a very capable replacement. Lee's check in for Golden State. So he gets them both. You know, it's funny. You look at the Golden State Warriors. They've had the third best home court advantage in the league over the last decade or so. Only the Rocky Mountain teams, Denver and Utah, were better. At Oracle, it's not the altitude, it's the crowd. One of the best in all of the NBA. Thompson with the bucket. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. Sacramento leading by eight. Thomas pitched to Cousins. Good Damn it. Come on, Boogie. As you were saying about the war, they really beat off this home crowd. Steve, you said maybe the best in the NBA? I think so, just in terms of the support they get, regardless of their success. You think back over the last 16, 17 years, the Warriors have only been in the playoffs twice, and yet the fans are there every single night going nuts. So now that they're a good team, I think this fan is really uh, going to come alive. Andrew kicks to Cousins. With the block. And the action on hold is it a what the hell? Here we go. That's exactly right. You do hope for the best. You cross your fingers, say a prayer, and hope it's nothing major. We'll see what the update is here. Well, with his exit due to injury, you wonder just how the rookie will step in and contribute. 
all eyes will be on him and he'll probably get an extended run out here i imagine the heart rate is going a little faster than normal for this young man it's not exactly a make or break moment though but he could definitely make the case for himself to earn more playing time with a good performance here and stepping out onto the floor now for his very first official nba playing time that's good from curry First points of Hey Kevin, during that last break, I heard Mike Malone as he addressed his team. He wants to make sure that he left me. Damn you, oh, I'm getting cooked by Curry. The scoring this quarter has been off the charts, and the production of the game as a result uh, may change. Bell passes to Cousins. Back to Bell. And Bolton is going to be the call, so they get the basket there anyway. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Rosili's jumped in for Maurice Spade. <laughs> Oh yeah, yo, we getting this dub, dub. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Again, Golden State. We've seen a noticeable improvement out of him since halftime. He didn't have a whole lot working in the first half. Bell against Curry. Goaltending the official call. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Warriors trail by six. Pass to Thompson. Dishes it to Azili. That's good. An excellent display of passing out there, fellas. I mean, eight of their last ten points have been assisted on. Well, they continue to find the open man and play unselfishly. This is true team basketball, we see. And it's time for an injury report. Well, guys, the Kings head athletic trainer gave me an update. He told me that it doesn't look too serious. Most teams would like to get out of the gates with a strong start, and an injury like this one is going to make that a very tough task. Boom! Thank you, Doris, for the state. We appreciate it. Mark is starting. points here in this quarter and you've got to be excited about how he stepped in and helped the team really has shown a lot of poise filling in you know when a rookie comes in you, you never my first block a, a longer run but he's shown he's ready for more minutes on the court Salmon's with it and it's Iguodala picking him up no problem knocking that one down and now it's a nine point Sacramento lead well, a big goal. he's definitely got a lot of dog in it Curry with it. Now guarded by Bell. Curry dishes to Thompson. Lee against Fort. Fires from 14. Lee gets the bucket. Well, he had that tight separation there on the mid-range jump shot. Really good job of taking advantage of that. Bell off of it from Cousins. And Bell kicks to Landry. The shot is off. 
Good D by Lee. You know, normally when you dominate on the glass, it really shows up on the scoreboard, but not so much here today. You're right, Steve. Typically, it is a good barometer that indicates who's winning, but not so. Comes up empty down low. Looking at the last game for the Golden State Warriors, it was a loss to the Clippers. Bell passes to Cousins, and it's blocked. Thompson against Bell, and there's the pass to Cousins. Pocket four, wide open shot is on the money. Cousins has got four this quarter. Good, that's my first assist. In there, fellas, and he drains those. Warriors trail by nine. Thompson right side. He dishes it to Iguodala. Some nice passing by Golden State. And it's taken by Bell. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. And the Warriors making a change here. Space is checked in. Most space. Here's Curry with the three. Good D by Bell. Last game for the Kings. They picked up the W against the Clippers. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. In a big game for Bell. Ten points and two blocks. He's doing some serious work in this fourth quarter. And he's getting better and better the further along we get this game. Well, we knew the Pacific was tough last year as a division. They sent three teams to the playoffs, and one reason why the Kings ended up just above the Suns in the division. Hard to make a lot of headway when you're the fourth best team in your state. Well, good idea setting that screen, but the execution wasn't there. No, it sure wasn't. I mean, you want it to be hard, but it also has to be legal. The dish to Selmans. Feeds to Thornton. Shot clock at five. Here's Landry. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just had it to go. Now, as you said, tough California teams, Clark, populating the Pacific, but the Kings actually did well against them. Better than, in fact, you would expect considering how far apart their win totals were. Yeah, not bad. Kings went 7-9 in the division. Of course, Phoenix really struggled last year, and that was part of it. The Lakers had a down season as well. But, you know, it, all in all, I, I think the, the California teams are looking stronger going forward, particularly Golden State and the Clippers. So it's going to be tough in that division. But he defended the shot, got back in the play, and grabbed the board. Nice play. Here's Curry. Rebounded by Bell. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. And that one's good. Bell's got 14 points now in the second half. Looking at the last game for the Golden State Warriors, it was a loss to the Clippers in Los Angeles. Spates, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Oh, a beautiful assist. That's a couple of teammates clearly on the same page. Sacramento leading by 13. For three, Bell, and another three for Sacramento. Three! Big dog. It's gone over three so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Curry with it. And Thompson kicks to Curry. And he gets it to go. Curry's got 19 points. This quarter has brought out the best in him, fellas. Even though they're still trailing, he's been impossible to contain. Three-pointer, Bell, count the bucket. I think they're trying to go for the kill here. I mean, they're starting to take a lot more three-point shots than they had been before looking to run away. Yeah, and that's fine as long as you're making them, but make sure you don't start launching bad shots. That's a problem. Curry can't get it to go. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were right in his face. And it's Curry. That boogie. 19 points for DeMarcus Cousins. You know, it seems like when they've gone to it, they really come through. And that's not something they should get away from. 
Curry kicks to Thompson. The feed to Spates. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. Hook for two. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. DeMarcus. Locked teams once again last year. You know, this time joining Cleveland. Now he finds his way to Golden State. Uh, Spates very talented, but you wonder if he's ever really going to find his niche with one team uh, for more than a year or two. In spades, primarily Clark, a uh, pick and pop big man. Yeah, I like his nice soft touch, Kevin. Really solid in the mid range area. Pretty decent rebounder as well. I think he's a very productive was back. That was Young pass. enough to where he's still got some room to grow. Curry dishes the lead. Here's Curry. Spades with a screen on Bell. Six to shoot. Curry attacking. A minute 20 left to play. Plays it up and banks it in. And so here we go, rolling along to the finish line in what has been a very confident looking performance for the Kings. The sheer volume of three pointers was the deciding factor tonight, it seems. Yeah, they sink one, Kevin, and then they do it again. It worked. And ever win in court, and this one will go down as win number three. And you see the contributions from the role players on the team, and boy, what a game it was for Marcus Thornton. Every inch of the floor was his tonight as he came out and injected energy into every play that was made out there. Bell against Curry. Bell off the bit from Cousins. And Bell kicks to Cousins. The pop. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag. Lee with the ball. Guarded now by DeMarcus Cousins. Iguodala outside. Fires at the elbow. Cousins pulls it in. Sacramento's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Bell against Curry. Bell passes to Landry. Let's the three fly. Cannot hit. These are incredible rebounding numbers. I'm not sure if you've ever seen anything like this, Clark. Oh, uh, that's for sure, Steve. I mean, a superhuman performance on the backboard. Well done. Nice play. Good game. GG's. You were forced into extra action tonight due to an injury to one of your teammates, but you made a solid impression with your play. What is your mindset coming into a game like that? Man, I just hope he's okay. I'm going to go out there and do my best whenever coach calls my number, but this is the worst possible circumstances for me to get out there. I'm glad I could contribute, but really hoping that was nothing serious. What's up, coach? Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Man, you got it. I I'm just happy I was able to contribute. Yo, this is just the beginning of the ways I can help. I said, let them get ahead of ourselves. Message received, loud and clear. Appreciate that, man. Got it. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good one, and I'm out. Bye.